Vicky is one of those people that you know about, but you actually can't point out how or why they became famous. What you may know about her is that she claims to be black and that she was born in the hood. You may also know her for her multiple fights with Bad Baby because she uses the word regularly and also because she exploits stereotypes associated to black people. But is that the actual Vicky or was all of this her master plan to become famous? Some people think that Vicky's only a troll that has managed to turn all the negative attention into a career and that it was all carefully planned strategy. So is Vicky a troll or is she actually authentic? How does she manage to actually become famous? Keep watching if you want to know the story of the rise and fall of Woe Vicky. Vicky claims to be from Atlanta Zone 6 like rappers Future, 21 Savage, and Gucci Mane, but the truth is that she's actually from the suburb of Marietta. She was born on March 7th of 2000, and her real name is Victoria Rose Waldrip. Vicky's father is the owner of a company that has a very good reputation in residential building and the real estate business. Her mother, Carla Johnson, was never actually married to Vicky's father, and she comes from a wealthy family. Vicky also has a sister who's 10 years older than her. According to Vicky, she liked getting in trouble during her teenage years, and she eventually dropped out of high school to be homeschooled by her father. She also tried to work as a hostess for a restaurant, but she only kept the job for a couple of days because she didn't like being told what to do. After that, Vicky knew she wanted to be famous, and she started posting regularly on Instagram. Her follower count started to grow, but she didn't actually become famous until she did something that got the attention of everyone on the internet. She claimed to be black. Vicky went viral after saying that she had taken an Ancestry.com test that proved that she was 44% African. Then she started posting Instagram videos repeatedly saying the using black stereotypes and posing with guns and money. After that, Vicky posted a video further explaining her ethnicity and she said that on July 19th, 2017, her Ancestry.com test said that she was 25% black. Vicky also claimed to celebrate that day as if it was her new birthday. Then she added that she had felt black from a very young age and she knew the truth even when her mother kept insisting she was white. Everyone shared Vicky's video to comment on how ridiculous it was. As a response, Vicky kept posting videos on Instagram getting back at people who called her out for being a She also explained that even if her mother and father are white, her father didn't know his father and that was probably where her black ethnicity came from. Vicky started getting a lot of attention from people who were enraged by her claims and tons of response videos were made about her. YouTuber Rice Gum made a video where he criticized her for her claims and Vicky didn't like it at all. As a response, she made an incredibly diss track against him. The video was taken down very fast because of how offensive it was, but that only brought more attention to her. After everyone called her out, Vicky apologized and said that the diss track was directed to rice gum specifically and not to Asian men in general. Vicky took advantage of the attention she was getting and she started uploading content to her YouTube channel. Her first viral video was the lotion challenge where she attempted to eat a spoonful of lotion. Apart from that, her most viewed videos back then were my ancestry story and how to Vicky also shot a video with two of her friends where she can be seen dissing Snoop Dogg. People didn't like it and they started urging her to apologize to him. Snoop Dogg himself made a video calling her out and eventually Vicky apologized to him and to everyone who she was offending. Vicky said she didn't mean to disrespect anybody and she added that she was very confused about her recent fame and that sometimes she didn't know how to behave. Then she added that she hadn't realized that her voice could actually affect real people in real life. At this point, for better or for worse, almost everyone knew who Whoa Vicky was. She was out there and she would continue trying really hard to become someone. And controversy after controversy, she did manage to keep everyone's eyes on her. In February 2018, Vicky was arrested in North Carolina and charged with trespassing, assault on a law enforcement officer, and resisting, delaying, or obstructing an officer. Apparently, Vicky was with her friends at the mall when things started to get out of control. A witness said that the mall security and the police asked them repeatedly to leave, but then someone yelled, SHOTS FIRED! And everyone started panicking. Then the officers took down Vicky and arrested her. Vicky was quickly released on bail, and later on she posted a video with her boyfriend where they celebrated that they were home. Then they accused the cops of being even though Vicky's arrest report clearly says that she's white. In 2018, Vicky also engaged in a very long feud with Danielle Bergoli, aka Bad Baby. The conflict started when Bad Baby referred to Vicky's diss tract about rice gum as disgusting. After that, one of Bad Baby's friends accused Vicky of trying to get with her baby daddy. In April 2018, Vicky ran into Bad Baby outside a mall in LA and they started insulting each other. At the time, they were mad because Vicky had allegedly called Bad Baby's best friend a slur at Coachella. They looked like they were about to fight, but 
but their friends stopped them before it got physical. That day, Vicky was with Little Tay, whom she was friends with. Apparently, Little Tay was Vicky's protege, and she referred to her as her little sister. Little Tay was very, very young at that time, though, and she looked fairly scared at the moment of the fight. After this, Vicky and Bad Baby continued to insult each other over social media and FaceTime, but the next time they met in person, things got real. In October 2019, Bad Baby and Vicky got into an actual fist fight when they ran into each other at the studio. The reason for the fight was not clear, but everyone knew that they didn't like each other. After the fight, Vicky bragged about how she had won and Bad Baby went on Instagram to say, I'm not even engaging in this BS no more. Anyone who says I got beat up is delusional. This girl ain't hit me one time. She grabbed my hair and somehow ended up on top of me. Next month, in November 2019, Vicky released a diss track titled, Went Out Bad Baby, where she mocks Danielle and she says, among other stuff, bad baby. After that, Vicky has stayed relatively out of controversy. Some people remember her only for her scandals, and some even claim that she's become completely irrelevant. Although she has not been in any scandals recently, Vicky keeps posting YouTube videos on a regular basis as she continues to try to build her career. Vicky's music has actually gotten very positive response from her subscribers, and people appear to be surprised that her music is good. In her song, Don't Like Me, you can see comments like, this isn't bad, actually. I kind of like it. In that same song, Vicky raps, don't be fooled by the skin because I'm white. And people think that the fact that Vicky finally acknowledges that she's not black is a sign of maturity as well as common sense. In more recent songs like Big Vic, viewers point out that her music is quite catchy and they celebrate that she's improving as an artist. Apart from music, the content of Vicky's YouTube channel is what you would expect from a girl her age. Pranks, story time videos, mukbangs, challenges, and even some Q&A videos where she and her mom talk about Vicky's childhood. There's even a video where Vicky reacts to her old viral content, and she admits to feeling really embarrassed about it. When Vicky reacts to the video where she claims to be black, she says that her friends knew that it would make her go viral. It definitely worked for her. In all of her videos, Vicky is the same. Loud, outgoing, and intense. Many people believe that she's acting all the time, but Vicky has claimed repeatedly that this is who she actually is. However, sometimes Vicky's vulnerable side shows in her videos. Vicky moved to LA by the end of 2019, and in summer of 2020, she posted a video where she admitted that the change has been very tough for her. She also said that people usually don't see her down or in a bad mood because she tries to be positive and that she had left all of her friends and family in Atlanta and that it has been very tough for her to meet new people. Still, Vicky said she will overcome her struggles with the help of God. The rapper continues posting videos and people's perception of her has changed a lot from the beginning. While many have called her out for being racist and rude in the early stages of her career, others think that Vicky has changed a lot in a good way and that she appears to be very sweet and down to earth now. Honestly, Vicky has grown so much as a person and I love it. She's spreading positivity talking about God and confidence, and she's deep and real with it. Now that Vicky is already out there, maybe she'll be able to completely rebrand herself and be known for other things apart from being the white girl who claimed to be black. What do you think about Woe Vicky? Did she actually change or is she just trying to adapt to what people like? Let me know your thoughts in the comments section.